Surya Namaskara A. Second time, breathe first and then move. Third time. Number four.
right, for our last one. Surya Namaskar B. Jen, I'm not sure if your headphones are the audio source right now. Okay, so while let me check. It's check. not very good audio. Uh, when you're across the room, you sound far away. Okay, let me look into it. Thanks. And that's five. So take the feet up to the hands. Nice. All right, second one. I think I got it. All right, five breaths and down dog. Can you see me, Jen? Yeah, is that Teresa? Yeah, can you see me? Yes. Oh, okay. I cannot see you, your audio, your video is off. I know. I can get that back on. Okay, go down to the bottom left, and it says um, "Stop video, start video," and that should 
Do you see like a camera icon? I think that's five as I'm speaking through it. I'll Take just, your feet back I'll, up to your hands. I'll figure it out. Yeah, do you see a camera icon there? Yeah, but it won't. Right now I don't see you at all. Touch it. Okay, if you want to leave and come back right now, I'll let you back in. Okay. If you want to ent- exit and enter. Okay, so now, um, oh, wait, wait a second, Teresa. Let me see if I can help you. Okay, last one, you guys. Sorry. Did you get an invitation to start the video, Teresa? I just said ask yes. to start video to you. Did that work? There. Okay. I think I'm in. We got you. You're in. <laughs> All righty. Glad we got that fixed. Liz, you're doing great. All right, we move into the standing sequence, Padangustasana. Take your feet hip distance and catch your big toes. Five, Padhastasana, put your hands underneath your feet now so that the sole of the hand is against the sole of the foot or the palm of the hand. Trikonasana. Right hand catches the big toe, or you can put it on the mat, or on the block, or on your shin. Five. 
five. Inhale up, Pravrita Trikonasana. The raw ball variation, you can use a block if you like. Left hand down, right arm up. Five. Inhale, windmill the arms up. Second side. Five. Inhale up. Samasitihi. Parjva Konasana. Lunge with the right leg, reach with the left arm. Five, inhale up. And now we twist this as well. So Parvita, Parshva Kanasana. Five. Samasitihi. Prasarita Padot Tanasana. A position. So in A position, it's like a tripod headstand. You want three points of contact with the mat. Five. B position. Catch your waist. And fold.
Five. C position. Clasp your hands behind your back. Five. And D position, fold and grab your big toes. Five. All right, now, instead of coming up, we come into Soma Konasana. So this is the first deviation from the primary series. This isn't actually in primary series. And it's like a straddle split. Um, so just do what you can here. Uh, it's a uh, posture from fourth series. So do not be discouraged if it doesn't go very well. And don't worry, we're doing it three times. So don't overdo it in this first round. You got two more chances. So we'll call this three. Four. And five. And now um, Hanumanasana, Jai. And you turn and face the back edge of your mat in a, a split. And if you don't have... Um, if you have blocks nearby, putting your hands on blocks can make this a lot more accessible or bending your front leg like what I'm doing right now. And again, this one isn't in primary series. This is a posture from third series. So it's in the future for a lot of you. Okay, back to Samakanasana. So you're back in the middle and you're working on the straddle split for five breaths. And now Hanumanasana on your second side. And remember, you can bend the front leg or put your hands on blocks. That's five, last time. Samakanasana facing uh, the front, the long edge of the mat. Okay, five, come on back up to Samastitihi. Uh, Parsvot Tanasana. Reverse Namaste if it's available. If not, grab opposite elbows behind your back. Exhale, fold over the right leg.
five. Left side. Five. Sama Sitihi. Utita Hasta Parangustasana. Uh, so find Sama Sitihi and then catch your right big toe, your knee, or your ankle. Fold if you want. Five. Okay, float your leg. Five. Second side. Five. Five. And float your leg. All right, five. Arda Bada Padma Padottanasana. It's a standing half lotus. And if you're modifying half lotus, I would suggest tree posture here, tree pose. So once you have half lotus, you can either stay standing in half lotus or perhaps bind and fold. Okay, second side. Fold if you're folding, otherwise stand tall. Five. Okay. Samastiti. Surya Namaskara. Utkatasana, jump to the front of the mat, drop the butt, reach the arms. And when you glance down, your knees, um, you wanna see your knees, not your toes. Up. 
Bakasana. And um, so this doesn't really go here, but it's what we add with Tim's class. So knees to the backs of the arms and then press the mat away, five breaths if you can. And five, go to Chaturanga. Virabhadrasana A, right foot forward for warrior one. Five, turn pivot left side. Five, open to beer dress in a B warrior two. Five, second side. And five. And we move into the seated sequence. So Dandasana. Dandasana is like the seated samastitihi. Five, Paschimottanasana A, catch your big toes. And I know that a couple of you have stuff going on with your back and um, with SI. So if the forward bends in primary, if they start to hurt your back or your SI, my suggestion would be to kind of hinge at the hips like I'm doing now and just reach the arms up like this. So this is a great modification because it strengthens the core. Um, it actually also strengthens the back, but you still get work from the hips in the hips and the hamstrings. And then B position, you can grab the outside edges of your feet or clasp your hands beyond your feet. five. And we take a vinyasa here. So you can take the vinyasa or you can visualize the vinyasa. Pours vote tanasana. and five. Ardhabhada Padma Pashimottanasana. 
this is a seated half lotus. Five. Vinyasa or lift it up. Second side. Five. Vinyasa. Terrain my mukha ekapada pashima tanasana. Jump through. Right leg folds back, left leg is straight. You can sit on a block under your left butt cheek here if you need the space. Second side. Five. Janu Shirshasana A, jump through, sit down. Right leg folds into a seated tree position. Five. Left side.
five. B position. It's just like A, except you slide forward and sit on your heel. And it's a smaller angle, uh, maybe like a 75 degree angle between the right leg and the left leg. Five. Take a vinyasa. Second side. Five. Johnny Shirshasana C. So you can sit on a block for this one if you need. I'll face the camera if you want to look at what I'm doing. It's toes down, heel up arch of the foot lined up with the inner thigh of the opposite leg. Second side. Five. Mari Chasana A. Five. 
second side. Five. My chest in a B. The left leg to half lotus, right leg to the Mari chest in a position. And if half lotus isn't your thing, you can modify and do the Janu Shirshasana shape with the left leg. Five. Second side. Five. Take your vinyasa. Mari C. Five. Second side. Five. Mari D. Five. 
the side. Navasana. Remember, you can always modify here. You can keep your tippy toes on the floor and just work on the upper body. Keep pulling the low belly in. Um, you could lift one leg. You can lift both legs and keep them bent. Or you can straighten. That's probably five. All right, so traditionally, it's a little less than a lift in between, which should just be kind of with uh, hands to the floor and lifting up. It helps to have blocks. Um, but Tim would always do handstands on Tuesday. So that's what we're going to do because they're super fun. Um, so if you want to go into a handstand, go for it. Um, if, I'm going to show you guys some steps though. So if you know what you're doing and you want to do handstand or you have a wall handy, just go for it. If you are not a handstander for this first one, I want you to hold a plank. Or you can always choose low lasana. So you can do plank, you can do handstand, or you can do low lasana. All right, Navasana, second time. We're doing it five times. Five. All right, so um, you can choose any of the things that we just did, or if you're working towards handstand, what I would suggest this time is kind of walking forward into a pike position. So you, you can bend your knees if you have tighter hamstrings, but what you're trying to do is get the shoulders over the wrists and the hips as high as you can, um, maybe even coming onto your tippy toes like I'm doing right here. All right, third time, Navasana. That's five. Again, choose anything that we've already got done or if you're working towards handstands, um, do what you just did in that pipe position and this time lift a leg. And really try to shift the weight into your hands and out of your feet. All right, Navasana, fourth, is this the fourth one? Fourth one. That's five. Again, if you're working on handstand, choose anything we've just done. Um, and then, or do your second leg here. So change your legs, really focus on shifting the weight into your hands, pull your abs up. Five, last time, Navasana. Okay, that's five. And then try a handstand if you want. <laughs> Can't fall in the kitchen. <laughs> All 
and take a vinyasa. Buja Pidasana. Jump into it if you can. Your feet go around your hands. Sit on the backs of your arms. Cross your ankles. And then if it's available to you, lower down. And five. Come on. Supta, no, Kurmasana. Uh, hop your feet around your hands again. Sit down this time. enough space. Five. And then from here, move into Supta Karmasana. And if you've got anything going on with your back, I would probably just suggest that you sit this one out or put your feet on blocks and just kind of hinge forward. Okay, that was five. Take a vinyasa. Go ahead. Garba Pinasana. Take lotus if it's available to you. If lotus isn't available, just come into like a crisscross legs like I'm doing right here. Take your arms through and pull in. And so this is actually um, like, I really want you to focus on pulling in if you're doing it this way. So it's five breaths here. Okay, and now you roll. <laughs> so you have to be a ball to roll. Remember, try to keep the thighs curled into the chest. And then come forward, hands down, butt up. Try to lift the knees, five breaths. This is Kukutasana. Come on down. Okay, and then uh, the way Tim would have us do it is um, Kukutasana C, which is actually a posture from third series to exit. So I will um, show you what it is. You come onto your knees, shift the hands forward, take the knees to the backs of the arms and you kind of do a cat cow stretch with your back. So you start with your back extended and then Round the back as you pull the legs up the arms. And then from there, you can vinyasa out of it. So that's from third series. Don't, don't worry about it <laughs> if you're working on primary series. And then jump through, Baddha Konasana. Soles of the feet together, knees wide apart. Let's take um, the all three Baddha Konasanas. So this one got cut out of the series, but I really like it. So I always do it. Just sitting up tall with the feet together, knees wide. No bend in the back right now.
Baddha Konasana A, hinge forward. Your elbows can push your legs down more. Your chin or your forehead can go to the mat, but your back stays pretty long here. I mean, it's flex because you're forward bending, but it's not totally rounded. Five, inhale up, and then we'll take B position, and this is the rounded back. So it's forehead to the toes or in that direction, and really pull the abs in. Five, take a vinyasa. Upavishta konasana, jump through, sit down. Legs wide apart, catch the outside edges of your feet. If you can't, you can hold your ankles or shins and then fold. Five, Upavishta Konasana A, I mean, sorry, B, balance on the backs of the sit bones, front of the tailbone, and hold your legs. Look up, Urdhva Prishti. All right, take a vinyasa. Sutta Konasana, jump through, sit down, and then lie down. Once you're reclined, take your legs over your head, and then open your feet wide. Catch your big toes, push into your shoulders. This is the state of the pose, five breaths. And then inhale, exhale all the way down. Okay, take a vinyasa. Jump through, sit down, Supta Hasta Panagustasana, lie down, left leg is straight, do you want me to move? Catch your right big toe. Think chin to the shin so that it's a little bit of abdominal work to come up. And five, lower the head, open the leg to the right. Inhale back to the center, exhale chin to the shin. Inhale, head down, exhale, leave the leg. Second side, catch the left big toe, exhale chin to the shin. Lower the head, open the leg.
Inhale to the middle. Exhale, chin to the shin. Inhale, lower the head and let go of the leg. And you choose Chakrasana or sit up and take a vinyasa. Jump through. Sit down, Ubaya Padangusasana. So you lie down and you take your legs over your head. <laughs> Catch your big toes. Really push into the shoulders here and think about moving forward from the abs. So the belly button pushes forward to the front edge of your mat and try to roll up from there. And then hold it at the top, Urdhva Drishti, five breaths. All right, take a vinyasa. Ubaya Panangustasana, jump through, sit down and then lie down. Roll the legs over the head. Grab the outside edges of the feet this time. Really push into the shoulders, pull the belly in and then try to roll one bone at a time up to seated. And once you're here, pull yourself together into an upward facing forward bend. Five, take a vinyasa. Jump through, say two bandhasana. All right, um, let's see here. I'll teach you this one. So heels together, toes turn out. So your legs are kind of opening in a butterfly position. And then from there, lie down onto your back. So I usually put my elbows down to help prop my chest up and then extend the back and the head to the mat. And then from there, push up and you can keep your hands supporting you or you can grab onto the outside edges of your mat to support you. And then maybe you can cross your arms over your chest. The key is to really use your legs to help lift you. And five, lower down. Your choice, Chakrasana or Vinyasa. Urdhva Dhanurasana, jump through, lie down. So we're gonna do eight Urdhva Dhanurasanas. Um, I'm gonna start with the bridge pose. You're welcome to start with bridge or do all bridges, whatever you want, but there's gonna be eight back bends. Um, and towards the end, you can stand up and drop back if, if you like doing that or go to a wall. And what we do is we call out um, the eight or eight of the names for Hanuman for each back bend in alphabetical order. So I'll say the name or Paul will say the name because I forget them. And then you say it back. So Urdhva Dhanurasana A. Anjaneya. Anjaneya. Jai. Jai. Five. Okay, Urban on your asana, B. Bajaranga Bali. Bali. Jai. Five. Urdhva Dhanurasana, C. Chiran Jiri. Chiran Jiri. Jai. Jai. 
five. Urban and I rest in a D. Dasarama. Jai. Five. Urdhvadanyarasana. E? A Kadriya Bhakta. Jai. Jai. Five. Uh, Urban Arasana F. Flying monkey. Flying monkey. Jai. Jai. Five. Urban Arasana G. Yani Nama Gangarium. Gangarium. Jai. Five. Okay. Last one. Urban Arasana. H. Hanuman. Hanuman. Jai. 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 Hanuman Gosai. Hanuman Gosai. Kripa Kuru Deva Kinai. All right, last one. And stand up after this last one. Just sit down, stand up, however you want to do it. Stand up and then come into Uttanasana, a standing forward bend. And just move in the opposite direction. and sit down from here uh, for Pashima Tanasana. We'll take five more breaths here, so let yourself sink into it. All right, Taidaki Mudra. Uh, from here, lie down. It's like Sama Sitihi, um, but reclined. Salamba Sarvangasana, shoulder stand. Feel free to use a blanket or a pad here if you like.
Halasana, feet over the head. Karni Pidasana, bend your knees to your ears. Five, and now take your legs back up over your head. Lotus or crisscross legs. Uh, and it's an Urdhva Padmasana, an upside down Padmasana. And then Pindasana, try to pull your lotus to your chest. Five, lower down, legs down, Matsyasana, open the chest here, head back, back extend. And then five, Uttana Padasana, Legs reach, arms reach. And five, lower down. Again, your choice, Chakrasana or just sit up and take a vinyasa. Here, Shasana. Uh, interlace your hands, plant your elbows down, try to press the wrist, the forearm down onto the mat. And then um, come into like a down dog on your elbows here, walk your toes forward, and then place your head down so that you have a nice long back of your neck. And then from here, shift forward into Shir Shasana. And if you don't wanna do Shir Shasana, you could just kind of stay in that half pike position. We'll be here for 15 breaths. Okay, lower halfway down. And bring it all the way back up. And then slowly all the way down to Balasana. Five, take a vinyasa.
and then jump through, sit down for the last three seated positions. A lotus if it's available. If not, any crisscross leg positions will do fine. Bind if you can, if you can't, opposite elbows behind the back. And then for yoga mudra, uh, which is sealing in your practice, you fold forward, you can put your head on a block if that's more comfortable for you. That's 10, come on up. Padmasana, uh, index finger and the thumb together, straight legs or straight arms, straight back. Free breathing. And ut klut tihi, place your hands down. Feel free to use blocks. Push down and take anything that comes up off the mat, off the mat. And if nothing comes up, don't worry, just keep pushing down. Five more breaths. And five. Okay, we'll do the closing mantra here. Um, we'll do call and response. So I'll say a line and then you can give it back to me. Swasti Braja Biaha Paripala Yantam. Nayena Margena Mahim Mahishaha Go Brahmane Bia Shibamastu Nityam Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu Om Shanti 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 Take rest position. I'll set a um, five minute timer for Shavasana. <laughs> 